Hi, I'm Sturk, and uh, I'm cold. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's getting colder and colder in Sweden right now. But hey, today we're going to dig into Pentester's Lab. Pentester's Lab has been a great sponsor of my show. But if somebody asked me the question, Sturk, seriously, how do you get started in bug bounties in 2021? My answer would be, have you completed all the badges over at Pentester's Lab? Because if you didn't, you can always start there because it's a really, really good testing environment. It takes you from beginner's level, like the easiest ones where you learn how to use the Unix command shell or or just basic moving around the Unix operational system to stages where you're bypassing OAuth and SAML. And it's all a step by step mentoring process. So you will begin with the beginners one, you complete a couple of badges, you get your certificate and you're like, boom, OK, I completed that badge and you move on to the next one and it's great gradually is there helping you getting better and better. And if you're doing this side by side with just live hunting, in my humble opinion, you're going to level up faster than many other of the players out there. So let's just jump straight into the UI and see what we got in there. The first thing that we see when we enter the Pentesis lab uh, setup is the dashboard. And as you can see here, I um, actually solved one exercise. Sweet. And that was the basic Unix getting started, how to log into a shell kind of exercise. And just for the fun of it, let's do that together again. So let's do the first one, Unix 01. What it tells us here that we need to log into a system and we need to, yeah, we just need to find uh, the file that's going to be in there. So let's do that. When you click on the labs info here, you'll see all the information about it, but you can also watch the video. The video is usually full of spoilers. So you, you can either just watch that and, and see how it's being done, or you can play around with the, or you can try it for yourself. See that had kind of like a hints system. If you want some hints, hey, go for the videos. Otherwise you can try it for yourself and do it a little bit of a blind one. So we'll access this um, part here. And what we get is a login Pentest Lab, and we'll type in pen, Pentest Lab as the password as well. Cool, we're in here. A little bit of an ls and we can see that hey it's nothing here but if we go back again we can see that there oh it's a victim user let's log into the victims folder and oh here's the key if we will look what's inside the key we'll find the first flag and we'll just place that into the the form and we completed the first batch pretty cool and so it's very intuitive and it's going to drive you forward in your process Sure, this is super, super basic, but if we move down a bit and we'll find some of the more interesting badges, let's say that you were interested in doing SAML or AUTH, right? There's really good introduction into how SAML works, how OAuth works, and what you need to do to figure out how to communicate with them, what kind of attacks you can do, and it's all like step-by-step step step procedure. And if you click in here, you're going to be able to find a website that you can play around with the SAML exercises on. Super cool, basic and easy. The first simplest ones that you play around with, you can do that straight from the browser. But when you get to these a little bit more advanced stuff, even though it's, it's easy, uh, I would recommend you to have like a burp or some kind of proxy like SAP to be able to intercept and play around with the traffic because that those are the tools you're going to use later on anyway. So let's dig into and play around a little bit with the XML Entities Lab. So to complete this test or in this exercise, we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need a browser. We're going to need, uh, I'm going to use Burp Suite Pro. You don't need to do that, but I like Pro because I can use the, the tabulator in there and a couple of other tools that I usually do. So I'm going to do the Pro version. And you're going to need a shell where you can host your DDT files on. Okay, cool. Let's just blaze through this one. So what we're going to do first is one, we're going to copy and use this URL here. So I'm just going to paste that straight into my burp target. Here we go, scope's done. Now enter proxy and open up a browser internally here. That's gonna be cool. And we paste in the address. So we got this play with XML entities websites. Nice. Let's do some login and see what happens. Admin, admin. 
Ah, that didn't work. Okay, well, worth a try, right? So let's see what happens. We know that this is going to be vulnerable to uh, XML entities. So we'll just start to figure out if we can get an out of band request the first thing that we're going to do. So as we can see here, we got this little bit of a post request. We're going to send that straight over to repeater. Okay, the admin admin response. Let's send that over again. Okay, just seems to be answering. What we can do first is see what happens when we add a little bit of entities in there. Just right click and I usually use this uh, tool called convert to XML. So now it's just changed all the connection type and certain things into XML for me. Let's see if it sends it away. Still at 200, so it seems like it accepts it. What happens if we change this one to text and XML? Is it the same thing? Yep, still seems to work. Now the next step is to add a bit of doc type in there and see if we can get an out of band request. And we're going to use a super vanilla and very basic one. Let's just get us a little bit of a verb collaborator link and paste that one in. Let's see what happens. Then in that way, okay, we've got a bad request. That's interesting. That means that something parsed it and hopefully we'll see if it followed our entity. Okay, hmm. we just got a DNS lookup, weird. Normally there's gonna be a HTTPS lookup here as well. Maybe they did some filtering. So we'll just modify the request once more and see what happens. Let's see if we're just a simple HTTP works. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's a fresh one. That means it follow entities. That's cool. We got an out of band request. What we want to do now is that we want to make sure that we can host a DDT file. So when we send the request to the server, it's going to get Etsy password for us and then send it back to us. So we got all that information. Mm -mm. Smells like a crit coming our way. So let's do that. Since we know it follows out of band, we need a shell. So I'm just going to spin up a quick axiom box here for us. Here's the public IP address. We need that one because that's the one we're going to send some requests to. And as the TV chef I am, I've already prepared one for us. So what would we got in here? So what we're doing here inside this DDT file is that we did find a couple of parameters. First, we got one called file, which is going to ask the system to read the local file Etsy password. Then we've got one called xfill, and that one's going to do a request called XXC, then you're going to send out a request to our our verb collaborator server and it's going to include anything that's inside the parameter file and then it's going to run it. So let's see if this works. And to be able to have this hosted, we need to run a little bit of Python in here. So what we do now is that we're going to change this one here and just add the address to our droplet instead. IP address to our droplet and then the smash.dtd and see what happens. Let's send it away. We can see that request hit the server and then hopefully if we refresh the tabulator here, we gotta get Etsy password. No, oh, that didn't work. Oh yeah, yeah, we haven't defined, we haven't defined the entity. We need to define the entity as well. So let's change this one around here. Let's do the one that says, so it's gonna be stoke and it's gonna be and xxe and we're going to finish this up with a uh, stoke as well. And let's send it away. Boom. The hit came back again. And then inside tabulator. Oh, here we are. And now we got the content of Etsy password. Smash in! Uh, the rest of the exercise here is for you to take it in the next step and exfiltrate this data and play around with all the cool stuff. So eventually you're going to be able to log into the system. But I hope this gives you a little bit of a teaser on the things that you can do when you're playing around with exercises over at Pentesis Lab. I really enjoy this service and uh, and and there are a lot of content creators like uh, Codingo and myself and others that that that's been sharing a couple of Pentesis Labs links here and there. Like I said earlier, this is a good playground for anyone that wants to get into pen testing. And if you're a company and you got a couple of trainees that you want to train up, you can get the enterprise model as well. So you can have a team working together and yeah, just growing together, hacking together. Um, there are a couple of really amazing stuff that I want you to dig into, and that's the code review badge. There's a lot of videos in there that's going to show you step by step procedure how to get into the code review mindset. This is 
perfect if you're thinking about doing um, certificates like OSWE or anything that has with massive code review and you don't have that experience earlier. Um, it's a really good stepping stone for anyone that's interested in growing their game and being a better pen tester or bounty hunter. Uh, I can heartfully recommend to at least give it a month to play around with it and see where it will get you. But I know that once you give it a go, you're, you you want to you want to finish those badges because badges and accolades. Mm -mm. But there's a lot of free content in here, and there's always new content coming out. So if if you're not fully ready to commit and pay for the for the pro version, you can get a huge mileage by just doing all the free practices. But if you want, you want to get the certificates and you want to get all the, the growth that comes with doing something in an order, I would recommend you getting a Pentester Lab Pro account. Okay, cool. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you around. Have a good one and uh, stay curious.